here a member of the programming team my sole purpose was to focus on the connection of database to the interface but i had so many difficulties okay upon doing this i realized that there was one way i could work on this and which i introduced uh, the, the zamp server and that brought the success My name is Joshua, a student of GCTU. I am a computer engineering student and also the team lead for Team 6, which are responsible for building the Ghana Shopping Hub system. You know, I've always had an interest in challenges, anything that is going to help me to use my mind to solve a problem in the society. I am just like any one of you. We've all been to shops and we've had a situation where we have felt cheated or there are other problems. So this is a system that is going to help us solve all of that. And also the Ghana Shopping Hub system is just not a system, it's not just a system that is going to help the customer but also the shop manager. This is going to help the shop manager keep their inventory, it's going to help them print receipts, it's going to help them do all their necessary tracking and then it's also going to provide accountability for each and every purchase that is made. So this was the process we went through for the connection of the database to the software we created. So you use ZAMP server, so you launch ZAMP server, then you would initialize the Apache and then MySQL servers by clicking on the start button as you can see on the screen right now. Then you would wait till the turn green. Then you can open your ID or before that, you can click on your browser, then you open your browser, then you would enter the URL as localhost, then you would enter, then you wait for it to load, then you would see that it loads the Apache interface for you. So from there, the next thing you would do is click on phpMyAdmin, then you would wait for that to load, then as that loads, you will see that it brings us into a new interface. So from here you are allowed to import your database through the tabs at the top but then we have already imported our database and then it is named BB database so you can see that we are clicking on it and you can see that all the attributes and entities of our database are showing because we have already imported them but then if we had not imported we would just need to go to import then we would choose the file which contains our database in a SQL format then we'll just upload it so that is what we did then after you can after you do this your database has been connected so you can launch my name is your... Cornelius and I'm a student of GCT I was part of the programming team that uses Visual Basic a Windows form application using the Visual Studio it was a very big challenge when we were trying to create the app but the team and I didn't give up, and here we are with a very, very nice application known as the Ghana Shopping app. My name is Carl. I'm the designer for the user interface of the Ghana Shopping app management system. Um, I've always been interested in creating user interfaces for various um, projects given to us by our investors. When this um, project came up, I was very happy getting to know that. Um, I'll get to show my skills in um, design interface design this time around. So once you launch the application, you are going to have a beautiful and simple interface like this. So you would have to click on the login button, then you would enter your credentials, which is your name or your password. So for this purpose, we are using the name admin and then we are also going to enter our password so that we can log in. Then you click on the login button. Then it gives you a beautiful message. 
click OK and then you are being allowed into the system and you can see the tabs at the top so you can click on the transactions tab there you can see the various information you can see customer information you can fill all the various information for identification purposes then you can see the list of products the application allows you to add products as the customer is buying them so that it can enable you to print your receipts and then find out your total and all other necessary things that you need in order to be able to run a shop you see as we have opened the list of products so you can select or you can also search you can add you can delete this system is flex also if you check the stock master tab this is for inventory and stock purposes this tab allows the user to be able to check whatever is available in the shop you can see we have a list of stock out items so that is items that have been shot in the shop you can see the amount it can give you all the various attributes that we have and then the entities like in the shop this allows the user to be able to keep up keep track and also to see the, the user is able to use the stock master tab to be able to check their stock their inventory and then as and when they get new products they are able to add up or they are also able to remove when necessary from the tab and then that gives them a full list so for this purpose we use just a sample list of things that can be sold in a shop and you can see how we use the system to generate all of this as you can see from the top to the list of tabs we have the reports tab we have the customer tab the manager use tab we have a lot of tabs that perform different functionalities in the system and if you open them you can see that they are actually performing their functionalities but because of time we can't keep going on and on with all of this so we would like to keep it here and then like you can realize how easy it is to use the system and then the most innovative part of this system is that it uses an online database system so just all you need is your ID and your password and you're able to log in especially when we talk about chain of stores like in supermarkets with a lot of shops and malls in a lot of shops we are able to use this like to cut across all the shops so you can know the various shops and then what they have and what they do not have and also like it makes the management very very easy for the managers and the customers and also gives the it makes life easy and then that is why the system is so important and this is something that each and every person who is interested in having a shop should try. Thank you. I'm a senior from Ghana. I am the one who did the research for the Ghana to um, Ghana Shopping Hub Management System, and um, the research wasn't a hard thing for me to do because I like reading a lot and I like finding out new things. So. It was a fun project to do. Hello, I am Osu Enchi Ozias, a student of Ghana Communication Technology University in the Computer Engineering Department. I assisted Anna in the feasibility studies, which is under the research, and it gave us a deeper understanding of what the problem is. Thank you.